Assalamu alaikum wa wa barakatuh. This is Coach Salam from Sunnah Fit. And yes, this is an afro. And whether you like it or not, it's staying. Okay? I'm joking. <laughs> Alright, um, a lot of, uh, but a real uh, high amount of people have requested what they can do for weight loss. So, I'm going to give you principles of what you should have in your diet because if there was anyone who was against any type of diet I'm the one who's against it I'm, I'm not a f I'm, I hate modified detox diets because it's not natural a lot of it is not natural especially these type of sachet diets which is ridiculous what you need to do is simple and I'm telling you all nutritionists all physiotherapists, anyone in the elite kind of athletics or athlete development kind of world will be applauding me right now when I say keep your diet simple, keep your diet natural and keep your diet healthy. So keep your diet simple. We only want to be consuming natural foods. So we're talking about things like normal meats, not processed meats like sausages and all that kind of stuff. When it comes to other things, fruits, vegetables, beans, legumes, all these kind of different types of foods which are whole foods. The way you can tell a whole food is when it's raw and usually it's shelf time. Uh, when it's put into the supermarket it has a significantly reduced time on the shelf. In your diet, keep away from processed foods. You can usually tell what processed foods are when they are packaged. And that includes, by the way, canned fruits, because they are also processed. We want to keep our foods as fresh and as natural as possible, so our bodies can absorb it and use it to the fullest extent. Now, this comes to the point on whether you want to lose or gain or stay at the diet, at the weight you want. Depending on what type of body type you are, if you are big and you're consuming 3,000 calories a day, you want to reduce your calorie intake or caloric intake to around 2,300 to 2,500 a day and reduce and reduce. But reduce it with good foods and reduce it with good meals. Another thing which is good to have in the diet is the amount you eat every day. I know that sounds weird. This is going to sound weird, but the, if you want to lose weight and also gain weight, you have to eat more times in a day. But uh, for me, I eat eight times a day. I try to eat eight times a day, but I have small portions and I'm trying to lose weight. Now, if people have seen my, uh, um, have seen my progression, I used to be very big. I used to weigh around 106 kilos last year. And only recently when I went on a diet, I've reduced it significantly. Now I'm 89, 90 kilos. I've lost 16 kilos within just about three, four months. That's because I followed these simple principles. Don't overcomplicate your diet. Now, for me, protein shakes and all these kind of things, they haven't provided me any benefit. And a lot of athletes don't see benefit in having these kind of supplements. Why? Because it's the simple fact that they are unnatural. So, a good replacement for a protein shake would be super seeds. A lot of people have asked me about super seeds. Super seeds are a very good way, or a very good substitute of natural foods for a protein drink. So, if you want to fit that into your diet, you can. But the way a diet works is in a pyramid form. On the bottom, you have your foundation. In the middle, you have your supplements and on the top you have your optimizer. There's too many brothers out there and some sisters that go straight into the middle part which is the supplements where they want to just have supplements in their diet. You have to have a good diet before you even think about having supplements. Now for me if I was going to have any supplements in my diet it would be the only thing which is um, and, uh, multivitamins. 
because multivitamins provide a lot of those things that you need in your body but more so you've got your natural normal diet and more with these multivitamins however I'm still not too keen on it as I want my diet as natural as possible so you've got the diet there but there's one thing that we're missing what do you think that is I've covered foods I've covered how many times you should be eating it but there's another component to it which is more important than the diet itself or the food diet itself which is water hydration you want to be drinking as much water as possible and there are some extreme cases where there's kidney problems or some liver dysfunction or whatever it is however the majority of the the majority of the time you want to be drinking at least two to three liters of water a day not only provides brilliant hydration and keeps you concert keeps you moving throughout the day better concentration it's also healthy for the organs healthy for especially when you work out you need that replacement in terms of those different minerals but you just need to make sure that you drink you carry on drinking don't try and substitute your diet with a kind of sweetener drink which doesn't have many calories but uh, and it won't affect your the amount of fat you have you don't know that it may have no fat and may have no calories but you really don't know what's inside that drink which is whether it's good for you in terms of your internal organs it may make you lose weight I don't know I love Alan but you don't know really what's inside there so keep it as natural as possible Allah made things easy for us so don't overcomplicate it with oh oh shall I go and get a BC a BCAA plus or whatever don't overcomplicate keep your diet simple Jazakallah khair Assalamu alaikum